Hi guys, welcome back to Alien Isolation. I'm the Savage Beast, Yabang na Kimono to Moshimas, or in Japanese, Yabang na Kimono. So, without further ado, let's do this. So, I know that the uh, alien xenomorph is lurking somewhere. Probably inside the fan. Uh, anyway, just like my channel, this game incorporates a lot of Japanese language. So, anyway, I'm back playing this game after such a long hiatus, so I don't really know where to go next. Look at that, man. 2014, this game was made. Unbelievable. Graphics still holds. So let's go upstairs. Again, unbelievable. Look at that view. Hang on. Gotta be quick. Not quick enough. Open sesame. This part is very difficult. I think Ripley, uh, Ripley's uh, best course of action is to actually to wait until this guy is gone. Too late. Okay, uh, here we go again. Okay, let's go back to that area. Where the hell is he? Uh, the xenomorph alien. I think Ripley uh, gotta wait until... Well, she has to wait until 
the alien xenomorph uh, went into the van until he goes into the van before uh, she can proceed any further. Well, it doesn't matter if Ripley runs now. Because it's not going to change a thing. But as soon as she gets into that area, uh, better be quiet. Silence. Well, as soon as uh, he finished with them, he comes this way. So how do I get Ripley to get past this? Uh, this is gotta be, uh, this gotta be like the toughest section of the game. The toughest section of the game. Can she just use the van? Because the uh, only thing that can probably stop the alien from chasing her, chasing Ripley, is the flame tower. And she won't get her hand on that flame tower until later on in the game. This game is extremely difficult. He can see her. I thought the alien couldn't see her. Apparently he did. He could, so... Anyway, thank you so much for watching. You guys are super awesome. See you soon.